One of the reasons that we don't want to be a part of a franchise, and there's a couple of reasons for that, okay? Inventory right now in Texas, people are trying to get from te to Texas. Uh, I don't want to talk politics, but what we're realizing is, is during the lockdowns we've had in 2020 and still going into 2021, some people have realized where they live doesn't suit their lifestyle. Is that the best way to do, uh, you know, we're, I want to say it that way instead of being openly political about this. It doesn't suit their lifestyle. It doesn't suit what they feel they need. So Texas is a very popular state to move to. Now, so we're in markets that are, that are strategically located by the talent we have. We're in Houston, we're in Dallas, we're in all of East Texas, we're in West Texas. Now they're drastically different markets, okay? Um, you're gonna see West Texas go through a dramatic shift in the next 24 months, okay? Big, big companies are already laying off. We have, so West Texas, we're gonna go from a market where everybody's happy to get their keys to please save me, I, I, I need to get out of my house before it's foreclosed on. So that's gonna be there, but your big metro areas, and then to a certain extent, your mid-sized towns like Tyler, Longview, Abilene, okay? College Station, uh, Montgomery, some of those, the towns around Austin Okay, those are going to grow and they're going to remain hot for a while because there is a mass exodus. Over 50% of our business in the last 60 days has been from people outside the state. Okay, they're trying to escape uh, lockdowns that, that have cost them their business. And we're getting a lot of cash business. People from California are selling and they've got cash and they're trying to get here because they need to work and they need to function and they need to feel rewarded. I don't care what your politics are, this is a human nature, okay? So we're gonna have that in Texas. We've got people coming here. So where we're at, as far as markets, is, are, is solely driven by talent. So you have guys that are with franchises, we have limited inventory, they're with franchises. Well, you don't have a lot of houses to sell, so every house you sell, if you're an agent, you need to make all the money you can, all right? The franchise is not gonna help you get listings. That's your personality. That's how hard you wanna work. That's how hard you wanna get out and farm your neighborhoods. That's how hard you wanna you know, get out and mix and mingle, okay? They can offer you nothing in a market like this. So why are you gonna pay the extra 3%, 6%, whatever you pay in a franchise fee? Splits, unfortunately, you know, up around Sulphur Springs and Mount Pleasant, we got some agents on 50-50 splits at other companies, all right? And their, and their broker competes with them. So why would, why would you give more money when inventory's tighter and it's gonna sell? Examples, we put a house on the market in Fort Worth the other day, all right? There's five offers in 12 hours. One north of Austin had 90 offers in 72 hours. So the markets that we're in, talent has drug us into those markets. And that's the way I want to keep, I want talent to drive what markets we're in, and then markets we're in, I want us to service them the very best we can, and I want our agents to make the most money they can and us keep the doors open, because here's the deal, if we've got 150, 200 agents with the splits we have and everything, I'm making nickels here, dimes here, dollars here, okay? I'm not gonna get rich off any one agent because we have a cap in place. They only have to pay me a certain amount and they're on 100%. Okay, I don't, and, and that's by design, that way if an agent does leave us, they don't hurt me that bad. So you, we've recruited agents from other companies that didn't have a cap, and we took two or three agents and cost them $150,000 a year. Can't do that. Also, you need to give the agent the opportunity, you need to make the cap so such that the agent looks and says, I can't really go on my own because I can't do it for that. I can't, it, it would cost me more. So it's a, a strategic business plan that shows that we're all invested in their career. Why would somebody be with a company when inventory's short, we're in a highest and best situation on most houses, okay, and you're giving away more of your money just to say you're with this brand? Brand yourself. Make yourself the focal point of getting the job done and be what the customer wants. Don't attach yourself to a brand.